Hello, welcome to Lime Ward. Today we have Zloigist versus Plant Bo Block. Plant Block. And Plant Block is going to focus on his lines first and set them up. Which, to be fair, both players are really close to each other. And Plant Block's going to find Zloigist quite quickly. Zloigist is going for three factories straight away. And Plant Block. And he's going for a Talons. So that's some extra eco. Plant block is going for one barracks and one factory so far up there and two barracks up further north. Oh, and they've already spotted each other, so right now they have contact. Does Zloigis know? He does. And um, I just want to point out that Zloigis messaged me on Discord saying that he'd found videos, or a video, that I had covered of him before. One of his battles he played before. So that was quite nice to see. And I was glad that he enjoyed it as well, so that's really good. Thank you for messaging me. I really do appreciate that. He sent me some more replays. This was one of them, but I'm pretty sure this was on the Lime War one as well, so... That's quite cool. And what's going on now? Play? Nope. So he's trying to get all the territories at the back of his base so he doesn't have to worry about them later on. And he's going to have those all ready for him, and that'll be a lot of eco as he tries to progress up this way as well. And the engagement's definitely going to be around this area, which is probably going to be quite a high value choke point to take control of. Plantbok has a plan, he's got his airfield across the water, so I'm assuming that's going to be to take some runs across, and despite this being the fog of war, you can see the town that's being built, because I guess towns have anti staff which is kind of what I call it. But Plantbok is retreating right now, as he sees the tanks rolling in, as Loigis tries taking control over the energy well. Yeah, we've got an energy well owned by Plant Block here, but he hasn't built anything on it yet. Those tanks are coming in fast. He's got three straight away. Definitely a very good way to try and take control over the first, well, the early part of the game. He's got them on the blue command, so even if they come into contact with these guys, who are obviously on orange commands, they'll come in to engage these guys. Because these are on blue commands, they're just going to fire only if they're in range and focus on moving. Whereas these orange commands, they're going to stop to try to attack any units, make sure nothing gets past them. But these guys are trying to get past the enemy. And it looks like they're working right now, but one tank is taking a lot of damage. And these tanks are probably going to roll past everything. These structures are in the mountains, so they're stealthed. And this structure, I just think, was out of range. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to spot that. But he is going to try and search the map. He's going to Send those tanks all the way to the other side of the map. Not sure what his plan is there. I think he might be trying to take over the other side of the map and maybe bring in some units from either side. That might be what he's going for. Try and take out any structures on the way. I think he's just trying to search. But Plant Block has hidden his structures quite nicely. And Zloigist has rolled right past them. <laughs> That is unfortunate for Zoigus, but he's going to get a second chance. He's got some more tanks coming in. This is a lot of infantry that are coming in, and I will probably take out this group of infantry. He's going to bring in his helicopter to protect these artillery. And at the same time, it looks like they will have contact in this section of the map very soon as well. So, Plant knows that Zoigus is going to try and expand this way. So he sent his unit straight across here to try and cut him off early. And at the same time, Zloigist is sending his tanks off quite far away. He obviously has a plan for them. Over here, the fighting has ended. The tanks joined the fight here. So they were able to save some of these infantry, but the artillery are probably going to finish them off. Now it looks like Plant is going for the energy well. He sent his helicopter here first, and then the strike command there, because then they can reach. They don't have to worry about the static range of the airfield once they land on the ground again. There you go, the tanks are trying to plow right through those artillery. They're taking a lot of damage, but the tanks can take a lot of damage. And they can also deal a lot of damage, so they're going to take out those artillery pretty quickly. And now... There is six tanks down here and three tanks up there. Loigist is creating quite a powerful army. He just needs to see the enemy base. That helicopter did a lot of damage and it is kind of unchallenged at the minute. 
But Zoigist has changed his strategy. He's gone for some units and prepared a line to defend his energy well as soon as they come out. It might be a bit too little too late with two helicopters on the field right now. But we'll have to see what happens. I do kind of want to see those tanks up there as well. The helicopters are coming in. One's going to deal a lot more damage down here. There are three slams now already, so they are going to try and defend this. They might be able to do it in time. One's going to get away anyway, as it runs out of ammo. But this helicopter's only just joined, so there we go. The energy well does go down. These tanks are going to stop moving, which is going to be great for these artillery units, which are going to take them out. And the tanks can't do anything about it. There we go. Two have gone down there. Up here, though, the tanks have stopped moving completely. They are still going to take the territory, at least. But they cannot move until he builds another energy well. It looks like he was aware, and he knew that he was going to lose this one. He's placed an energy well in a much more defendable position. So those tanks will start to move again very soon. Not that I can see them anymore. So it looks like Plant is actually going to have control over this for a little bit longer. The Sam are coming in, so they are going to try and take those helicopters out, but they'll at least stop the presence. And he's switched into tanks again, so he's probably got these on tanks and Sam units production. Just going to turn the volume off on that. There we go. So, that is a pretty strong force against what Plant is sending at him. His tanks will stop the infantry quite well and the artillery. Though the, uh, the infantry can outnumber the tanks quite easily, but in little numbers it's hard to do that. And the SAM units will protect the tanks from helicopters. Over here the tanks are still gathering territories behind Plant Block. Where did Plant Block get to? So, Plant Block's expanded all the way across this area of the map right now. And I know Sloygist is pretty close here. But didn't he have to come back a bit? Yeah, he's came back a bit and then he's gone back up again. And it looks like Sloygist has spotted it. Plant Block has not yet. Oh no, he has. He's sending his helicopters that way to stop this territory grab there. But now Zloigist pretty much controls this section, but he's got very heavily damaged tanks over here. And that is a lot of artillery to go up against. <coughs> yeah, so those helicopters are checking this forest. You can spot some units coming in. And Plant is going to try and retake this land here that he once had. And... Just trying to secure a foothold here. He's got a barracks being built. Which is half built, I think. And it's going to help him control that section. And although those tanks at first didn't manage to do any damage, they are going to keep Zloigis from being trapped in that section of the map. So he is get, uh, getting a lot of territory up in this section, and he is building a barracks as well. He goes. He set up these circle commands and he's got this artillery coming towards him. I'm assuming Plant is doing a line command to attack. Yep. And this is quite a strong force to be fair. Some infantry and the artillery to stay back and shoot over. That's going to do very successfully against what you can see there. Up over here, there isn't enough units there to hold back the infantry on the ground, but the helicopters are going to come in and try and weaken that force. And there is another helicopter here that might join in. There we go. And another one just built, so that one's going to join in eventually as well. There we go. So it looks like Plant is going to control that section of the map for a bit until Loigis tries to send some more units that way to defend it. 
It looks like he's struggling to control that top section of the map there. But he is doing pretty well at controlling this bottom section. Not keeping control, but at least preventing Plant from getting out even, or getting further into his base. Both players have a significant amount of artillery at this point, and can probably do a lot of damage to each other, but the infantry there are going to stop the firing at the artillery, keeping them alive that little bit longer. And I think the helicopters are really good against the artillery, but good sand movement will take out those helicopters. Up in the top here, it looks like Zloigist has lost his units. He's still got some coming around through this section, but Plant does have control. Well, I'm already there. But he does only have three units left, apart from these ones that are going to come around and down. The Plant Block is still doing a very good job at, at trying to control the territory up on his section of the map. But Zoigis did a very good job of trying to get out there to make sure that he wasn't trapped. It seems that he's finished with the tanks though, he's going to go with the artillery for the, uh, for the majority of this game at least. And keep up with the Sam as much as he needs to against the helicopters. Over here, I want to know what those tanks have been up to. So Sloigist is literally using his tanks to snake across the entire part of this and he is building up his own commando army so he's going to use this from the back and try and sneak around claiming some territory for now but I'm assuming when he builds up some numbers he's going to put them on arrow commands and just see what damage he can do at the same time we have an artillery battle going on over here Floyd is trying to set up this orange line command so they set up in a nice straight line with their firing lines all in the same direction. He's got some sneaky commandos going on over here, actually, I've just spotted. That's what he's producing there, and he's going to see what he can do. I don't know if Plant Block can see them. They can't see him, but they're being shot. Oh, there you go. Now he can see them. With three units, it's enough to reveal one commander. But now there's only two units now. He can't see them at all, so they're just going to shoot them, and they're not going to know why they're dying. They're chasing him down. Over here. Oh, he's gone for another tank. There's some helicopters trying to fly around the edge of the map. Plant block. Place his line straight going this way. So he can try and attack the production itself instead of actually trying to take out the units. Now it looks like they've been called back. The sun units are coming down, so they are going to try and stop that pretty fast. The commanders over here have been spotted and they are going to get taken out by these infantry unless there's more than I can see. Or no, the staff is going to take over now and they're going to win that. Commanders are going to win. Those tanks are doing a very good job at taking some extra land for Zloigis. Let's have a look at the economy. So at this point in the game, we're 14 minutes in. Zloigis has 821 economy and Plant Block has 750 considering Zloigist is sort of in the corner of the map and was able to push through, that is partly what's given him the extra economy, as well as his eco-structure. Have we got any more eco-structures, or is that it so far? That is it. Those helicopters are coming in. The SAM units have been called down to protect the structures, and now the helicopters are hitting at the top. But it looks like Plant is trying to do hit-and-run tactics with those helicopters to avoid the SAM. But Zoigist is planning to bring out his own air units. We'll have to see what he's doing there. There we go, the commanders have reached the top here, so they are going to try and do some damage. It can't be seen, but there is a helicopter on the floor as well. And that will end up going down too if it doesn't take off. It looks like Plant is actually slowly making progress here. He has lost a lot of units, but he's definitely killed a lot as well. But he's slowly getting closer and closer to Zloigist's base.
He's recalling his helicopters up to this mountain here. And I think that might be to try and tackle what's going on over here. Over here we've got some units just going straight forward. He's calling these helicopters back as well. Possibly because of the presence of the SAM units. The commanders are taking out the structure as well. I didn't spot that from that block because they're in the forest and they're stuffed as well. well. It looks like Zloigist has stopped the production. He's doing very good there. The commandos are going to come back down, but they are going to be drawn back up into that place. And it looks like Zloigist has slowly taken back control in other locations of this game. And eventually, he will be able to stop this group here if this group doesn't join for reinforcements. Over in this section, Zloigis wants to take out this production here. His commanders are sneakily getting there. And might actually be quite successful there. And those tanks are coming around, taking over more and more of this territory. Soon they will have that whole section. I feel like in this game, Zloigist really wanted to try and do something sneaky, and he had something in, in mind as an extra plan throughout this entire game. And now he's taken most of this area. He's missed one, two territories there. I think he's just going to try and push through now and try and take some territory away from Plant. Plan is setting up his own defences now. Not really a fortification, but it is sort of a defensive line. Helicopters have been called in to deal with the commandos over here. And I think Plan Bok knows that there are some structures here. He's following this line here to put some extra style. And at all times, these people are going to be trying to capture the land. They are... The orange flag commands, they are going to be trying to conquer the territory as they go. But I feel like sometimes you need the arrow commands like this. Obviously this is an air command, so it doesn't matter much, but... We need to get your units on the front line faster, where you can take out their production earlier. Platbok was able to defend with this structure here. But he is going to have another fight on his hands very soon. And there is a lot of units on the ground, so he's still got a lot of defending to do. I think that might end up going down as well. Over here, the helicopters have been brought in, but they are under fire as well. These SAM units are probably going to take that one out. It's gone down. There's three more helicopters just there. Having them on this front line. Might end up being a bit of an issue for him. Because he will slowly start losing them, and helicopters are very powerful when they're in larger numbers. He's bringing some more in from the north. He definitely needs to do something about this artillery. If he can take it out, then he's got a strong force here to use as well. But I feel like most players are just pretty much wasting their money fighting each other in the middle here. Plant block is building up some barracks over here. Probably to try and recall, recoup, and rebuild his numbers to push back over this way. And I want to know what's happening over here. It looks like more commandos are there. There is only two though. These commandos will not be able to survive that unless more are called in. There is. They are being called in. There we go. These tanks have nearly done their job here. I think they are capturing this land. There we go. Yeah. And they won't they'll be done very soon, so we'll be able to bring those tanks back. Over here, it looks like Zloigist did not manage to hold his own against this central battle going on here, so he's now got to recoup here. And up in this location, he did manage to destroy the barracks. But he's going to have a problem in a minute, because they are building up numbers again. A 
was wondering, did Lloyd actually use aliens? I haven't seen his aliens come out. Oh, he's got helicopters. Yeah, I don't think he's used them yet. We've got a nice little curve going on there from this uh, line. So they're not fortified, but they are co uh, curving in a nice little concave. Meaning that when these units come in here, they'll be fired on quite heavily with multiple firing lines. These commandos are spreading out across the map. They are doing... We're about to do some good scouting when they reach their locations. It looks like both players are just setting up their lines right now. Creating a formation. Feels like it's more intimidation tactics at this point. Who's got the bigger army? Lugist is now digging in. He's getting a fortification set up in this curved line. So it looks like we have a bit of a standoff going on. <laughs> Neither player wants to commit, but Zloigist is going to have a defensive bonus with his artillery here. So there is a man standing outside the forest here, which means they're not stealthed. And as these units get closer, they will start revealing more. But this is where Plant is hiding some structures. Oh, it looks like Plant Block is going on the offensive now. He's spotted a weak point. The helicopters are all coming in right now and taking advantage of that. And they're dealing a lot of damage to these artillery, which is going to break this curve up quite a lot more. But the SAM, unit are, SAM units are going to take chase them away. Looks like he's got a couple of helicopters. That one's going to survive. But now Zloigist has his own helicopters and they're coming into the field. And I don't think Plant has any anti-air whatsoever. These helicopters themselves are anti-air, but it's not their primary function, so they're not very good at it. They're not too bad at it, though, to be fair. But that means this, these helicopters have pretty much free reign over where they can be. They can pretty much fly over the top of all of these and destroy them. And it looks like they've done a very good job of doing that. But I think Plant is going to lose a lot of his units here because of this defensive bonus and the way the curve is set up. And the SAM units moved in just in time to take out those helicopters before they could actually do enough damage to change this. But it looks like Plant Block has noticed his weakness with our units right now. He's going to try and use interceptors now. So he's stopping production on helicopters. And he's going into interceptors to try and replace his anti-air. It looks like while that's been going on, Loigist has been trying to push his units through. He's lost his commandos as they got here. He has been building up some artillery. He's got some eco going on there as well. Well, that's going to be a significant force very soon. And these commandos are going off to try and capture extra lands, take them away from plant. And that is going to probably be the sort of tactics that win this game. A lot of what goes on in these sort of matches, in this sort of area, does matter. But what usually ends up changing these battles is your economy. And not being able to... Well, trying to expand and take away economy from anywhere will weaken the army on these front lines here. Particularly with what's been going on over there. But it looks like Plant Block is trying to take over this territory's back. We'll have a quick look at the eco. So we've got 800 eco for plant. And Zloigist is on 1,300 eco. So eventually, the army here, if he keeps on adding production there, will take over this area. 
but it might be wiser to try and spend it in these locations so you can secure your areas even more. And I've just spotted these guys sneaking in and some commanders managed to get in and destroy some production. And they tried to take this out but they never really got there. They got a plant block dependent that with air units as well, the, even with the interceptors. Which is not bad when you've got scouts because you need a lot of units to detect their style. Over here it looks like Zloigist is on the run. He is retreating, but he's also trying to build up some units still. Over here the artillery have reached the mountains, but they are just going to casually build up in numbers over there. Plant block, I don't think I can see anything there yet. Not yet, but it won't be long until he does. Okay, we have one infantry taking on two infantry, and they were heavily damaged. So will he actually win? He does. Good job, guy. You can't do it again, though. Okay, you, you're not going to be able to take on two more units. It's, it's not going to happen. Nope. Dang it! I told you. Even with the backup from your friends, they just didn't get there in time. I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. Uh, looks like Zloigus is confident in his attack. He thinks he's got enough units. He's going straight into the offensive. Plant bot uh, block has noticed this, and I think he retreated into a defensive line. Maybe this is what Zloigis decided he wanted to exploit. Because as they build this line, they are getting weaker health. And I think he just wants to get in there, take them out while he still can. Or while it becomes less of an issue. Over in this section, it looks like Zloigis is actually... Slowly taking control back of this section, but it, it is a bit of a slow progress right now. It's the artillery that's saving him with the infantry up front. Have a look. Yep. So he's trying to push straight through this line with both of these adjacent commands. The tanks are right up front there. But he's still using the flag command. You really need to get the arrow commands when you're doing these attacks. You don't want anything holding your units back. Okay, so these tanks are now going to join this group of army, which are also coming in. So Zloigist is pretty much going for the kill now. He's sending his helicopters in to take out those interceptors. And he's got his main force coming in through the south, and he's got his extra force that was originally created from those three tanks that sent off at the beginning. And they're going to come in from the side and attack from there. Over in this section, it looks like Zloigist has cleared up plant as well. I think Zloigist is going for the kill. Yep, there is a lot of dead bodies in this line here. That artillery blob is a pretty effective one. And there isn't as many air units to take it out anymore, but... Zloigist did try and, not Plant Block did try and build some units to counter this, but it just wasn't enough in enough time. So, we have a winner at Zloigist, and thank you for sharing your replays. You can also share your replays if you want to in Discord, whether it be mine or the Line Wars one. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more, subscribe. There are two videos on screen right now for that as well. See you around.